Good day guys, thanks for joining me, it's me Nate, and uh, today I'm back with another uh, FSX video. Today we're going to be looking at part 2 of FSX Payware Toy Terrain Add-ons. Um, now, between this add-on and, and this uh, video that I'm making at, at, at this moment, and the previous video which I made um, using the F18 in Adelaide, I have not changed any settings, I have not tampered any, anything, in fact I've actually come straight from making that video. And it, you can see immediately the quality of the terrain around me is already quite different. The, the trees and the grass don't quite look right. And I, I certainly noticed the buildings didn't look as good. Uh, certainly a lot more sparse. Um, I can see there, it, it's, it, I mean, the runway is the same. Now, I'll explain to you why that is, uh, but it just simply isn't as good. Um, the OrbXX uses a satellite photo and it does um, all the all its all its amazing work using satellite photo. So what the satellite photo is able to to generate buildings, roads, and, and traffic, and and, all, and coastlines. Uh, you know, it's fantastic. It's it's really accurate. The, the thing is accurate to like whatever the meter or half a meter it is. Rex upgrades selected parts of your game. Um, there are other videos out there that can uh, show you guides on how to install or what to choose, but it's really quite simple. You get Rex, you install it, and when you install it, you can choose from a range of sub-features. So for example, you can select what type of cloud you'd like to see more often. So um, for example, my low-level clouds are cumulus clouds, but you can have low-level strengths clouds, uh, and it comes in, in, in a full book theme. So you can selectively pick. So I think uh, that, that's more obvious to me is the runway. I can change the runway texture. I can have old, worn, tarmac, asphalt. Um, and if you look ahead of me, I've got the runway markings where planes have landed, and I can customize that to make it so that it's really, really dark because lots of planes have used it or really brand new and there's no markings on it. That's what Rex gives you. It gives you little upgrades here and there to make the experience a bit better. Um, and as a whole, it's okay because it's a lot cheaper. It's 35 bucks from most websites or at US or 30 euros. Um, it's it's much cheaper. I think it's probably about half the price of Orbex. And But if I go to that photo, you can see this is a very generic and it looks like it's been taken from uh, a, a, a drawing and it's been thrown on. As you can see that where the airport is, it's generic airport green grass, and on the corner is generic forest terrain on the bottom right corner there. So that's the difference. And if you go back to my uh, Orbex video, you'll see that the video, the, 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 the picture from this picture from the top down is a satellite picture, and that's the difference you're going to get, um, which can be quite a big deal. Because once you're actually up there, which I will do, do so in a second, um, you will, the differences are a little bit more noticeable. Um, so I'm cruise on. But now I have more Rex Cloud. Uh, Rex Cloud. Now this is the one area that Rex to shine because you can pick the different types of clouds. You can pick what kind of house you clouds, what two clouds you get. So you're not picking a day; you're picking a, a type of cloud, which is a lot better because Epic uh, or Rex gives you a day type, so you can choose a sunny day. And that gives you a specific Orbex sunny day look. Or you can choose a rainy day, which gives you Orbex rainy day. But you cannot choose the type of rainy day you get, and the type of rain, and the sound effects. It also gives you the option of the sound. Now, immediately, this, uh, you can see, a lot more sparse, not quite city like. The render is also not, the render is always good, and I don't know if that's because Orbex has a better render, um, a rendering a performance thing. But I can tell you that with Rex, the loading of the game is much faster, and I don't know whether they, they, they've done something with the coding or, or upgrades to the to the how it decompresses. But this is a much faster loading, um, and I, I, I mean I'm getting 60 FPS more or less constantly. In in, in Australia, I'm also getting the same. Um, again, you can look outside. Look, generic terrain. You see houses that they've, they've taken pictures of, but there's actually render. So really low quality stuff here. Um, but we're about to see why Rex is still a reasonable option for the, the budget conscious. Now, I've actually chosen this one because you had a multiple choice. You can choose coral for the shallow, or you can choose uh, just shallow water, which is uh, sand, white sand, or you can choose deep coral. And the, where the water actually is the coast is fantastic looking. It is absolutely fantastic. And the clouds, these are, I think these are better than the Orbex clouds, frankly. And, uh, because, and mostly because you can choose whatever clouds you can get. Um, the other things I've got, a lot of the airport stuff is also a uh, Rex um, uh, option, uh, customizable. So Rex will allow you to choose different taxi lights, or it will operate the taxi lights, or operate the markings in the runway, it will operate the parking signs in the runway. If you have any airport 
upgrade or any Orbex. Rex is a fantastic complement because it will fix a lot of the, the stuff that Orbex doesn't do. Orbex fixes a lot of terrain, but Rex fixes a lot of the legal things on the, on the airports, um, which you see a lot more because obviously you're taxing around the airport, you're, you're not taxing around the downtown in a plane on the road. But the difference is immediately noticeable. But I do like the water. Um, but I didn't see this water when I was playing the other uh, video. So I have a suspicion that the Orbex upgrades for a lot of the, the big things which it has upgrades for will trump the Rex upgrades. Um, however, because I think Orbex doesn't have runway signs, um, clouds, and all that kind of stuff, that will it will work in tandem. So there's some overlap, which which is uh, which doesn't really uh, work so well. But where it doesn't overlap and they do complement each other, it is a fantastic experience. So let's get a bit closer. But you can see the water. I mean, the water is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and bear in mind, again, I mentioned this before the interview. This is a 2000 and something engine, or early 2000s engine. This really should be looking for water. Um, this is, I mean, this is on par with the water under IL2 to keep uh, water temperatures. And the cloud is much better than the stuff IL2 or water does, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, if you want to save 35, uh, if you want to save 30 odd bucks, or you just don't want to spend that much, this might be a good way of customizing the experience. Um, personally, I mean, I think now that you guys have seen both videos, I have a suspicion people will be leaning more towards Orbex, mostly because of the, the experience of flying around um, in a, 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 a accurate looking and much better generated city looks like. That said, if you do a lot of country flying, the difference is not so big. Um, but you gotta bear in mind if, you fly, if you're doing like Orbex, uh, in Australia, for example, you can do a lot of VFR flying because a lot of the landmarks and all the locations are so well done, and the roads are well done. So, um, that, that's that's the real difference. This is a much shorter video. Orbex is, is it will let you customize clouds, let you customize your airport, let you customize your sound effects, rain and stuff. Really fantastic for stuff like that. But as far as uh, flying experience goes, there's very little for it, and it still offers the generic FX experience with only a few touches here or there. So, I mean, ideally, if you have enough money, like 100 bucks or so, 100 US dollars, you could do both. But the fact of the matter is, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the sim stuff's not cheap. So, if you guys um, are considering it, I would recommend Orbex if you pick an area that you like. Just be aware that Orbex will let you only pick a zone like Australia, but it won't upgrade the entire world. Whereas this Rex upgrade is a global upgrade. So, you gotta get. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Now, I hope you guys will uh, learn like, you know, some, some useful here and maybe apply it to your, your, your purchases and this is just what you're going to do. Um, and, and, and really, you know, uh, I, I do recommend the upgrades. They do make the flying experience a lot more enjoyable. Alright guys, well, I hope you guys find it informative. I'm off and uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions or if you guys like the videos, please like and subscribe. And if you have questions, please put in the comments below. Thanks guys, now take care.